Option 2. How to repair seams in Blender when using normal maps. Okay. So let me just catch people up on the history of this because I know this will probably be a searchable thing on YouTube. What I did is I baked a high and low. Okay. So my high mesh has these little bolts. My low mesh does not have the little bolts. And if I use a feature within here called margins, it will cause some really bad results. And if you want to see that, just watch the previous video in the series. Well, if you don't use margins, what will happen is this. You'll get your normal map and it doesn't extend past your UVs. So in order to conquer this, you can either A, move each one of these in just a little bit, and that will take a while, no doubt about it, and probably cause some issues sometimes. It all depends how carefully you move these. Now, the other option is this. Let's say I go to GIMP, and I open the map up. just like that. Notice it's already transparent in the regions it needs to be transparent. All I'm going to do is make a new layer. Hit OK. I'm going to move this layer down. I'm going to take the eyedropper tool and I'm going to click on this neutral blue. So that would be on that layer too, by the way. Then I'm going to go back to the blank layer and use the fill tool and fill the entire layer with this blue. Wow, that was simple. So let's go save as. Save it as helmet. And make sure I use Targa. Unfortunately, I can't hit the button down here because my resolution on my monitor is set so low for the video. So I'm going to scoot it over here and hit save. Just asking me to replace. And I'm going to flatten the image. Now let's go back to Blender. Let's go to my low representation of this. I'm going to turn back on smooth shading. And I'm also going to turn, oh yeah, I got to do the whole navigation thing. So there we go. And you can see the seam here. Check them out. Seams, seams everywhere. Okay. Well, I'm going to take this new texture. Incidentally, I saved right over the top the old one. So I should be able to just hit update. And all the seams just went away. All of them. Okay. Now, uh, one more thing I want to cover in this video and the fact that you see that one side of his face mask is here but not the other one. So let me explain why I did that. That's called mirrored UVs. So in this case, I didn't want to waste space. If this item is going to be the same on the other side, first generate all your maps. Okay? Like you would, if you want to generate more maps outside the scope of this class, uh, you could do what? Ambient occlusion, there's color shadows, whatever. But, um, Afterwards, what you can do is, since this one item is going to repeat, all I'm going to do is take this and hit L. And make sure I get the back shell too. Shift D to duplicate it. And then we're going to go Mesh, Mirror, X Global. 
and then we're going to go where's that add normals flip direction and there we go I have my other side and I didn't waste any kind of UV space I still get the detail that I want All right, and that's how you repair seams and mirror UVs. Enjoy.